I'm Dr. Tala, and I've been a neonatologist for 17 years. And for five years now, Ariana, an excellent NICU nurse, and I have run a NICU educational YouTube channel called Tala Talks NICU. Our videos have been watched over 3 million times, and we have received literally thousands of grateful comments from viewers from all around the world. Today, briefly, I'm going to cover five reasons why video-based approaches are a valuable tool in medical education. Right, let's start. How videos can help in medical education. One, they can cater to different types of learning modes. We all have different preferences in how we assimilate and process information. In 1987, Neil Fleming came up with the VARC model of learning, which basically identifies how each individual prefers to learn. The four types are visual, auditory, read-write, and kinesthetic, which means that you like to learn through activities, so field trips and work activities and case studies and other real-life examples where you're actually doing the thing. In reality, studies have shown that most of us are multimodal in our preferences for learning, so that we learn best when the information is coming at us in lots of different ways. Obviously, videos provide the auditory aspect because you're listening, hopefully, but also they provide an opportunity for visual learning. So it could be old school with like a chalkboard or a whiteboard, or more recently, it could be computer graphics or other forms of illustrations, or the video could actually be filming an actual procedure or various physical exam findings. Interestingly, videos can also help the kinesthetic learners by providing real-life examples and case studies too. Two, accessibility. We all have different ways in which we prefer to learn, but interestingly, studies have shown that we also have different times of the day when we prefer to learn. That's where the terms morning lark and night owl come from. So the great thing about videos, including in our case, YouTube videos, is that anybody can watch them at any time of the day or night, as long as they have Wi-Fi access. The learner doesn't have to turn up in a classroom at a certain time or even be sitting in one place with their eyes stuck on a textbook. So videos provide easy accessibility and flexibility for learning at any time and at any individual pace of learning. And on YouTube, at least, the videos are provided free of charge. You do have to sit through a few random adverts, though. As many people have said and written, this allows for the democratization of knowledge, a fantastic thing. Three, signaling. One of the hardest things about learning new information from a textbook or an article or even a lecture is figuring out what is really important clinically and what is extraneous, albeit probably very interesting information. I used to cover my books with like four different colors of highlighters trying to figure that out. With videos, we can emphasize the highly relevant information verbally, but also we can use the screen to signal the importance of information which means we can put up a couple of keywords or a diagram with colorful arrows or suddenly change the color of the screen to really emphasize that this is very critical information. Signaling in this way has been shown to help with memory retention for the viewer. Four, procedures. The most robust information out there with how videos can help with medical training is with the acquisition of skills. Videos obviously provide an opportunity to observe rare procedures safely. For a really long time, way before YouTube existed, procedural and surgical videos have been used as an important adjunct to clinical experience. There is good data that watching videos of procedures improves our own performance during those procedures. Many educational videos have also been used for algorithms or protocols that may exist in the NICU. For example, there are a ton of videos covering the neonatal resuscitation program or NRP, which we use in the delivery room. And we assume that these are very helpful for learners. Five, help students learn. Look, there isn't a lot of convincing data that shows that if you watch a video, you will know significantly more and you will be able to apply that information better at bedside. Although I had a professor who used to say you wouldn't test parachutes to see if they save lives in any significant way. There are a few studies which have shown that videos may help 
knowledge acquisition in medicine, but it's also very probable that there is some publication bias going on. So the studies that actually showed that videos help were the ones that ended up getting published. But apart from basic knowledge acquisition, it's also been suggested that video-based approaches in healthcare may just help with people's attitudes. So viewers feel more confident in their knowledge and then just generally more motivated in their fields. Other studies have shown that when we use a more conversational, chatty style, viewers are more engaged and they put more effort into their own learning. Honestly, I think this may be the most important aspect of video-based learning. We can all learn the information and the procedures eventually. It's maintaining that sense of curiosity and love of the field, which will keep us coming back. Thank you.